guys, so the new inflation data is worse than expected. FTX sells assets. And what about the spot Bitcoin ETF there, actually? So let's go to the Bybit exchange and try to figure it out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put your like. Let's get it. And also, guys, I have my own Telegram group where I show my trading and post free trading signals. And if you want to become a member of this group, so send me the code phrase private into my personal Telegram messages and I will add you there. The release data on the consumer price index in the United States turned out to be higher than expected. The market didn't react to this, which can be considered as a sign of Bitcoin's trend. The price of the asset is still between the mark of $24-$27,000 of US. And if we switch to the weekly chart, we will see this. Earlier, I've marked this red zone of support, which the price has already touched, and a lot of liquidity will be right here at the next price fall. Next, here we have 50 EMA on this weekly chart. Also pay attention to the lower boundary of the Bollinger indicator, which the price also touched the owl level of support. Above we have 100 in May at the level of $29,000 and it is approaching the upper boundary of the Bollinger indicator. We see that here we had a narrowing of the channel, but now it is also possible to see the narrowing here. The price has already tested this 50 EMA on a weekly time frame once. The price tried to test it the second time here. Here the price approached our support zone and almost touched the lower bands of the Bollinger indicator and 50 EMA. So let's go back to the daily time frame. It is important to understand that the core inflation in the US accelerated for the first time in six months, which gives the Fed the opportunity to raise rates in November or December. We will also discuss the fact that FTX owns three 0.4 billion dollars worth of digital assets. And there was also information that the exchange changed its offer to sell cryptocurrencies. Under the new initiative, FTX will no longer be required to notify about its transactions in advance, taking into account their possible impacts on the market. I remind you that according to the latest data, there are over 6,000 bitcoins left on the exchange, approximately in the amount of 165 million dollars. Even if all the bitcoins are sold in one day, nothing terrible should happen to bitcoin actually, since the daily term number of Bitcoin reaches several billion. For Bitcoin, these are not significant wallets, unlike other altcoins such as Solana. This week the court has approved that FTX sells cryptocurrencies up to $200 million per week. The first week of sales is limited to $50 million. The weekly limit for all other sales is set at $100 million. The limits can be increased if creditors vote for it. There was also an expected news that the head of W. DWF. There was also unexpected news that the head of DWF Labs announced the possibility of acquiring assets of the bankrupt FTX exchange. DWF Labs is a global digital asset market maker and multi-level investment firm providing support from token listing to market creation and over-the-counter trading solutions. And I think that DWF Labs' interest in acquiring FTX exchange assets may have several explanations related to the expansion of the company's business or the possible diversification of its investment portfolio. Buying cryptocurrencies from bankrupt exchange can provide the firm with access to new markets and customers. In any case, so far, this is only an offer from DWF Labs. However, reaching such an agreement with FTX could have a positive impact on the Solana as well. So let's discuss other interesting things. That positive use here gave growth to Bitcoin. If you remember then we discussed the market, I said that we need to wait for the green candlestick to grow as this red one. But this didn't happen and there was no growth. In this regard, the market collapsed and fell to $24,000 for Bitcoin. It was then I had a long position, you remember, but I had a stop loss as well. And therefore the trade closed at this stop loss. And then after breaking through the key level of $25,500, I went long again in the area $25,700 at this mark. And this is a positive long position that I still have. According to the daily chart, we see that the price can reach at least the $27,190 
dollars level. This is the upper Bollinger Band. Here we have 50 EMA and also very close to 200 EMA. The price can also reach it and I believe that it is too early to close my position. I have my long position and stop loss and in any case if something changes I will post everything on YouTube. Watch everything there. Next, it is very important to pay attention to the divergence that is forming on the Bitcoin chart. You will see it better, I will now set this trend line and also the trend line on the RSI. It is significantly different from the Bitcoin chart. If there is a chance that the divergence is forming, then there is a possibility that the price will go down. Therefore, as usual, I tell you to be extremely careful and do not invest your entire deposit. I am talking about the risk management, you know this. For example, I put a stop loss and I can be calm. If the price goes higher, it is very cool. If it goes lower, it's okay. My position will close at a stop loss, I will make a profit and I will be happy. Let's look at the other interesting points. Look here. You can see the intersection of 200 MA and 50 MA. So, this is the very dead cross that many are talking about. And what it can show us exactly? That day this was the fall, but later the price recovered and grew almost twice from its minimum value. But let's pay attention to the earlier data. I want to discuss past dead crosses and how the market reacted then. The last dead cross was in January 2022. Also, 50 and 200 MAs crossed each other and after the price dropped significantly from these positions. It was all within 10 days and the price fell by 23% from this position. Let's look even earlier. The dead growth and also the fall were in June 2021. After this event, the price fell by 31%. But after that, everything quickly worked out quite well. But we remember what happened next and the fall didn't cause anything positive. Now on today's death cross, we see a weak reaction. It doesn't always matter to the market, but many people really attach importance to it and therefore it is significant to take this into account in your financial strategy too. Next you see I marked some white lines on the right. These are the dates of the next reviews of spot for BTS ETF. The next one will be on October 17, then it will be January and also in March. And the red line is the date of alleged halving of Bitcoin. I can say that there are no prerequisites that the application for a spot BDS ETF will be confirmed in October, January or even in March. This is a very important element for the entire market, therefore we will not just say this, but it will be used by major players in their activities, but it is not a fact that it will happen on these very dates. Most likely there will not be very positive changes in the market here. But there will be another postponement of the deadline both on this date and on this day too. Here in March the situation will be much more interesting because here it will be closer to halving of Bitcoin and as usual we know by this time the market approaches a new bottom so that after the halving to grow upwards. So far I see a small movement with a slight increase this year but I remind you that I do not see any reason for a good positive change and the bullish trend in 2023. It will probably be in 2024. I can assume movement in this range, big range, right? Of course, there is a chance that the price will go higher. But we remember that there has not been a black swan event yet. And the closer it gets to halving of Bitcoin and these dates, the more likely it is that the price will fall down and not go to $24,000, but much lower. For example, $15,000 or $16,000 level. And here will be this very big black swan event. But I remind you that this is just an assumption and we need to monitor the market further while I'm focusing on this picture. And as I said before, I have my long position and I have a stop loss and I'm not worried. So the situation is very interesting and I actually want to know your opinion about all these things. Write in the comments under this video everything that you count important, useful and interesting. And also check the links in the description under this video, get to my personal telegram chat and also get my free trading signals from this telegram chat. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and put your like. See you in the next video.